Bonjour, hello and welcome to Max Mountain World. Welcome to the Top Tips Corner. Already got started on this, the debris has started and this is what I'm aiming for, to get it like this so I can fill it in with silicon properly. Now the stage before that it's tidying up to there, compare again just peeled off the main front yellow bit and left with that and this is what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to redo all of that, the joint from the tile spacer tiles at the back there, up the corners this corner especially is going to be fun because there's a tiny tiny cut tile in the back of it and it's pretty messy up in the blue there so I might need to go above this line, I don't know, we'll see, redoing all the joints as well. And I'll continue around here and we've got the screen here. Now this has been put in wrongly because the ceiling was all done underneath there. You never seal under here because if any water gets into the frame that's where it can come back out. On the insides, rule of thumb, you seal the verticals but not the horizontals. On the outside you seal everything. So this is all going to get redone as well and we'll see how we get on with just filling in cracks in the corners and things as well. So up above about the shower valve level the grouting's not too bad but the problem is if when I do this it'll end up looking so good it'll look terrible above so knowing when to stop is the thing. The objective isn't to redo the joints, the objective is to have it looking good. So the light will virtually never change here except for the fact that there is a small window up there providing light or not. So the objective is at eye level. Maybe take it up to here and we'll see how we can go with that. Best tool for cleaning up is these little knives. Not the bigger version, this one. The reason for the little version is uh, just to, for example, to clear up this silicon along the side here. If you have the little one, you can actually extend a lot of the blade out and the cutting part actually goes parallel with the ceramic and that comes out very cleanly as such. Once that's done, a thumb or a finger on the end just to keep the end of the blade parallel and you take it away, little by little, down. Don't press too hard, it's a very very sharp blade, I'm running on uh, brand new blades all along. And just little by little without pressing hard, press too hard, you're going to cut into the ceramic and leave black marks. So slightly changing the angle there just to get a little bit more into the corner because the edge of the tile is not a square edge, it is a rounded edge. So again, same on the actual tree itself. Let's say a finger, a thumb, whatever, just this is what's controlling and I can feel the resistance of if there's still some of that old silicon there. And of course the important part is to keep the work area clean as I'm working on it so I can see what's what with it. Just down to a mark now but again I can feel it. I don't want to press too hard. Just little by little, it all comes away. The more you clean it, the more you can see what you've left behind. And it comes to a very fine mark that you're doing away with. That's where you're on the limit of marking up the ceramic. Job done. Same thing working into a corner, make a vertical cut if I can without, well busted the blade but it doesn't matter too much. And just catch the edge of that stuff off, that should just come away in the water, yep. 
seam down the bottom here, stuff getting that away, and work back to the corner. Solid stuff in there, that's why it broke the blade. Again, just give it a clean up and then take away at some point from there perhaps. So renovating an old shower. There's a lot of things, those two or three things there are the basics of it. You've just got to basically have a lot of patience and it takes a lot of time. Uh, this is the third one that I've done in this uh, tour around the apartments and uh, both the other ones took four to five hours to do from start to finish. Um, this one probably a little bit more because I'm going above this borderline here, this blue borderline. But we'll see, I'll just carry on with that and the next bit, the next scene, I'll show you what happens when I've finished actually doing the silicon clearance off of this. So about two hours later and three blades later I've got this all prepared and ready. The corners, no problem, I can go up them. And I've gone up a little bit just to give the silicon a start when I finish that. Inside all the silicon is gone and fairly cleaned up. I'm not doing the final clean up until I've addressed this, which is the yellowness in the, the tiles. Now, you can get a specific tool for removing that, but I've got a better way of doing it uh, in the fact that I don't actually have one of those tools here. And what I do is, uh, you get these boxes of cheap drills and things and the first time you use them they're knackered. These are really, really good for uh, cleaning out the joints. So I'll just do a little one here. Run, run it flat out and run it up and down and watch this. Now that bit isn't big enough, what it's doing is it's just doing one side. So I'll get the next size up. The, that small drill bit just now was purely experimental. Um, last time I did one of these, a couple of days ago, I used that bit. So uh, And again, being careful not to hit the ceramic or get through the ceramic. The likes of that, no problem, it's all going to get filled in. So, in a minute I'll take you around and show you it's prepared, ready. So basically there's three sets of stuff in here. One is what I took at the start before I touched it. Ugh. Two is the stage it's at now where it's all cleared up and cleaned up and ready to go. And the last one will be the finished product. I'll show you how I get there a little bit as well. A few top tips on the way. And, uh, and that's it. So. Let's look at this now. I'll show you exactly what stage I'm at with it. So this extra tile joint is all cleaned up, ready to go. I've even got the original makers out. And uh, yeah, it's all ready to go. It's not perfect, but remember the objective is to have it looking good and also to be sealing properly. As I explained with uh, how I've redone or how I'm redoing the, the screen itself to make sure that water doesn't get trapped within it. This I'm going to clean up as well. So back to here, this is the cleaned up tiles that I've done with the drill. And these uh, drill bits that I was talking about, they're very, very soft metal, so they're really, really good for doing these joints. Now I've patched in a couple of little holes. There's one, sorry, you can just see it there. But the objective is not to get it absolutely magnificently 100% is to get it looking good, especially to the untrained eye. Now top tip is, I'm working with a light, so whatever I end up with, I will see a lot more than anyone else unless someone gets a torch out and really has a good look. 
why would they do that? Anyway, above the blue line, I've just kind of done a little bit, just to kind of blend it back into to what's going on above. I really do not want to do above because it's just going to create more dust and also I don't really need to. And the question is always, <laughs> where do you stop? Up at the ceiling, reptiles off, start again? You know, that that's it. So get People, most people will be looking down here and ahead of them, so this is what they're going to see. And I'll just do a quick tour around and then uh, we'll go on to actually applying the silicon into here. I'll be going up the corners here as well. Show you a few techniques as I say with the old silicon. Uh, one job I used to do, I, get, uh, I used to get called the silicon king because I used to silicon everything. Anyway, let's have a wee uh, look at it. A distance. It's, so it's looking better already, but it's going to look even better still. There's years of experience going into uh, this next manoeuvre, but uh, what I want to do is I, I've always left with just a bit poking out from the last time I used this, so it should just pull out, especially with a couple of clicks on the trigger and uh, pressure. Playing it onto the loo roll and there we go. It's, uh, it's ready to go. Now when I'm using the loo roll, fold each uh, section in half and work away with that. Now I've got a clean start here, but when I go on to uh, cleaning off and stuff, then uh, I can use that as a finger wipe going again. That way I don't end up with toilet paper everywhere and it doesn't waste quite so much as well. Now actually I just noticed the side of this basin is uh, <laughs> needing done. I don't really need to cut into that, I can cover that and just with a little blob on the end, about that much, just to give it a starter for 10, into the corner and you control the amount going on with the speed and just keep a steady pressure on it. Miss a bit, go back, do it again, you can always tidy that up by finger afterwards running forwards, over the edge and I'll just put a little bit in the front disengage the, the clicker bring that up first and then check it out quick finish to the edge and we're looking good finger wipe and this is basically the same thing I'm going to be doing inside but there's different techniques for different gaps, different corners, edges, flats, whatever, materials, the lot. So, here we go. Now I'm doing these corners as well. No need to carve anything out except for the bottom bit where it meets where I've been working. So, I'm going to do the same on the other side. It does have a tile joint very close to the corner, but that shouldn't really affect what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go over that. As you can see, a couple of bit untidy bits up the top here especially. So, I'll fill all that in and make it look nice very quickly. I think you'll agree, that looks eons better. And the second joint doesn't look so bad, it's just going to need a little tart up at the bottom there.
Okay, so I'm done, or as done as I can be. Uh, like I say, you've got to stop somewhere. You can carry on and on, all the tiny little bits, you keep spotting stuff, but it's the first image. Take the light away and it looks even better. I know that sounds bad, but that's how the client and that's how bosses and people are going to look at it. Maybe they'll get a torch out, that's their problem if they do. Anyway, what I'll do is on the rollout here, I'll just go that first passage before, that passage during when I've done the cleaning, and then the finished product, what we have here. So anyway, that's it, a little one for the Top Tips Corner, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Keep subscribing, until the next video, ciao! There was cracks appearing, all sorts. For all it takes to do it, I've done down the bottom here. If you're wondering about this, this is a cleaning job. There's nothing uh, technical there as such. And going up the other side, done exactly the same. Filled in the cracks, giving it a nice shiny corner. And here's the bit I've been working on. That's where I just kind of blended it into what's above. And let's have a little look around in here. I'll up these corners too, that's all been done. And back down the other side. This is the finished edge with the, the tray to the wall, and then you've got this gap fill thing that they've done. And uh, yeah, you can still see the black in the end of the tile, but at least it's a nice straight line and not covered in yellow silicon and stuff. Now, I haven't done under here, for the same reason I mentioned earlier, any water moisture getting into the frame needs to get out somehow. And I've been up the inside here, there's actually two corners on each side of this. Nothing to report at the top end. And again, this is two corners in one, all the way down here. And just as a, a general pick around. Now what would you see if you were in here in its own light? That to me looks pretty good. <laughs>